Hey, I'm Cameroon. And I'm Alex Van Pelt. And this is what's happening in What's Up in the Counter-Strike world. What's Happening, What's Up is working in tandem with Netcode Guides. The major change you, the viewer, will note is that the episodes will be released through Netcode Guides first and then up on our soon-to-be-released website. We're hoping to use this new relationship we formed to bring you exclusive content in the form of interviews or player perspectives. We're hoping to layer this into the episodes in the next month and are excited to start interacting with the community. Netcode Guides is the premier source for anyone looking to elevate their gameplay. They feature breakdowns on maps, strats, and pro players dissect the game introducing new play styles or mechanics. Check them out over at netcodeguides.com and use the code WHWU to save 25% on your subscription if you're interested in making your game the best that it can be. As we start releasing new information or if any of the articles in today's episode inspire you to say something, throw it in the comments below. We'll try to keep track of recommendations and can make some changes to the show based on what you want. Be vocal or like LaBeouf says, JUST DO IT! Trying to find that opening and well... AW is down, there he goes for the pop. Can't get him, however. And now, well, there's your first hit. The retreat, as quick as they possibly can. The chase in, there goes your one, but MPK is there. He gets Flasher, he gets Olaf, he gets Cribs. He's got the whole shebang, shutting down the top of Banana. JW is just like, you are disgusting. Envious and an auto sniper equals shut down. That's what I learned this weekend. Proving to be a true powerhouse now, Envious came out the victors over Fnatic this past weekend during the Champion of Champions tournament sponsored by Gfinity. At the EGX gaming convention, four teams previously deemed champions from previous tournament showings were invited to compete for $100,000 in good old England. Ninjas in Pajamas, Fnatic, Envious, and Virtus Pro showed up vying for the $50,000 first place check. Envious toppled Virtus Pro and Fnatic shut down Ninjas in Pajamas, bringing the two fearsome foes into the finals. Here, Envious threw a hard one two punch, knocking Fnatic down two maps to zero in the first half. But Fnatic went into the corner, took a drink of water, then came out swinging hard, taking the next two maps, tying things up to all. This brought out the fifth and final map, Cash, where things were tied up eight to seven in the first half, showing that Fnatic and Envious are toe to toe with talent. Envious takes a deep breath and rallies, winning the map 16-9 and securing the title Champion of Champions. As I mentioned earlier, Envious takes home 50 grand for this showing, but I think they also take home a little more pride having beaten the other champions. We said it in the last episode, but I want to make a point of this new Envious roster and how dominating they really are. With DreamHack open right around the corner, they're looking like an unstoppable force. Enjoy the winnings, boys, and relax a bit. There's a legendary fight on the horizon, and everyone's gunning for you now. DreamHack Stockholm has finished, and we have a full lineup for the next major. Eight teams who qualified over this past week and will be meeting eight teams invited from ESL1 Cologne. We were able to see Cloud9, Titan, Mouse Sports, and Counter Logic Gaming make it through, not losing a single best of three. Dignitas, Vex Gaming, Team Liquid, and Flipside Tactics were able to secure the final win this past Saturday to secure their spots in the major. These eight teams will be taking on the eight legends, being Fnatic, Ninjas of Pajamas, Virtus Pro, Luminosi, Navi, Envious, Team Solomid, and Gamers 2. DreamHack Cluj Napoca is set to begin October 30th and run to November 1st, so be ready since it's only a month away. Who do you think will make it to the semis? I'm gonna pick Titan, Virtus Pro, Fnatic, and Team Solomid. Let us know in the comments below. If you've been playing Counter-Strike competitively over the past number of years, you'll know there's been a few moments when enough people were talking about competitive gaming, it makes it onto TV. Due to recent popularity and viewership numbers eSports has been receiving recently, Turner Broadcasting, TBS, has decided to step in and bring it to television. They have an extensive article on their website where they said, In 2016, eSports tournaments will be televised twice per year with each 10-week period including a regular season, playoffs, and championship. Both tournaments will include eSports teams facing off in competition while playing Valve's Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Additionally, digital coverage will include live daily competitive gaming content distributed Tuesday through Friday during each tournament week, as well as a live digital companion experience on Friday nights offered simultaneously with the TBS presentation. Digital content will also include behind-the-scenes event coverage and profiles on the esports teams and competitors. So starting next year, you'll be able to see competitive gaming right before Conan or after your new girl craving. If enough people tune in to watch it, it'll start to become more of a pop culture. 
With the move from internet to TV, it'll be interesting to see if TBS will be able to achieve some of the numbers that Twitch is able to. It's definitely a different market, as Twitch has allowed for people already on their computers playing this game a place to tune in. They'll have to do some heavy marketing or have some exclusive contracts with the top teams to get folks off their computers and get involved, as most people might just watch whatever's on Twitch instead. Do you have an opinion on the subject? Tell us what you think and what's happening, what's up. I'm sure everyone has heard already, but this is something we just can't pass up. Scream is back on Titan. This shocking announcement comes right before their matches for DreamHack Stockholm from the Titan site. The article says that they've released Maniac in order to bring Scream back in, and thanks Maniac on his year of competing with the team through its ups and downs. With his quick roster change, everyone was worried that it wasn't going to be enough time to get settled in before the qualifiers, but Titan was able to overstep the competition and won both games last Friday to secure their spot for the upcoming major. Since most of the players have played under extends before, do you think they can play at high levels of Counter-Strike again? Let us know. Guys, be sure to subscribe, like, and share the video. And with the recent update and the price of the Zeus going down to 100 bucks, check out how some pros are putting it to use. Don't push it. That five set, he's going for it. He's got it. Oh, oh my god, super! <laughs> it's a little it's squeal. The well, the well. Yeah. A good guy, Schneider, with the teamwork. Also backs himself to frag and himself's gonna drop down, and there we get his disuse. And it is nothing. He seems to love that change.